hello guys and welcome to my channel so in this video i am going to be sharing some of the things that you are doing with adverts that is making your adverts not to convert all right i have received tons of messages from my viewers i've seen comments of people who complain that when they try to run adverts on facebook or on instagram they don't get the results that they seek we have seen this and over time from my experience i have seen that there are certain things certain steps that people do not take and as a result, the adverts do not get the results that they wanted. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through, I think, five things that are killing your adverts. Five things that you are doing wrongly or that you need to start doing to increase your chances of making sales, right? People make a lot of sales using Facebook ads every day. Because believe it or not, traffic is the life of all businesses. It's the lifeblood, right? every time you are able to drive traffic to your offer you have a high chance of converting some people into paying customers so in this video i'm going to share some things that are killing your adverts and how you can correct it henceforth so that whenever you spend money on adverts you are going to get results for your money my name is courage i'll ask you to please give this video a thumbs up just like the video so that more people get to see this video and if you are new here and you'd like to see more content like this kindly consider subscribing to my channel and also turn on the bell icon so you'll be among the first people to get notified when i post videos now guys without wasting time let me show you how to start getting better results with your facebook advert henceforth So here, the first thing that people are making mistake on is choosing the wrong objective for your campaign, choosing the wrong campaign objective. This is, if you come at this point when you want to create your ad, on every of this item you are seeing here, on every of this list of objectives, at the side, you are going to see this option here that shows you what each of these objectives does. Okay? I've come to realize that some people will go and use reach and use brand awareness and then you complain of not getting results it doesn't work that way based on what you want to achieve you should use the right campaign objective this campaign objective will inform facebook of your you know of your intention of why you are setting up this advert for instance if you use brand awareness, you don't need this brand awareness as, as a small business you don't need this reach as a small business okay so we can start with this this is traffic right send people to a destination like a website facebook a website app facebook events messenger conversation etc this is engagement just to build social proof likes comments shares you know stuff like that for app install for video views lead generation messages this is conversions if you want to make a sale if you want to make sales you have a website where people can go and order stuff you have a website where people can go and place their order this is conversion you use conversion it says show your advert to people most likely to take valuable actions like making a purchase or adding payment info on your website app or in messenger so when you use this of this this objective you are actually showing your advert to people who are most likely to purchase to buy based on their activities on facebook facebook has all these details right this is catalog sales use your target audience to show people ads with items from your catalog this is store traffic if you have a physical store a physical location you show your ad to people most likely to visit your physical store when they are nearby when they are nearby all right so you need to know which exactly is your objective and then you stick to it for instance if you have an online business but you don't have a website maybe you have an instagram account or facebook page or whatever but you don't have a website and then you want to still make these sales you can use this messaging objective to get people to message you either on your instagram dm on whatsapp on facebook messenger just to get people to message you and then you can close them there in fact people are using this messaging objective to drive people to their whatsapp and close them there you can use traffic if you're a blogger or you want to drive traffic to your blog or just you know driving traffic to a landing page you can use traffic objective so depending on what you want to achieve then you can if you want to go viral just viral just like that you can use engagement or video views just to get people to view your videos or to engage with your content all right so the first thing you need to understand is your objective once you get it right you have gotten most of your adverts correctly all right so let's go on to the next one that you need to understand all right so let's take for instance we are using this uh, 
traffic objective as an example we select traffic you name your advert let's just make an example 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 So you continue, we have named the advert, the ad set, and the ad. We are not using CBO, we just continue. So we are here now at the ad set level, all right? At the ad set level. Now, the, another mistake I have noticed that people are making. But first, let me tell you something. When you are here, we use traffic. So you can either send traffic to an app that you have hosted, to a messenger or to WhatsApp so that people can WhatsApp you, right? But while we are, you are here, another thing I think is a mistake that people make or is, 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 is something that people usually make and then complain of low sale is their daily ad budget, daily spend. They spend way too little, especially in this part of the world in Nigeria. Back, or gone is, is the days where, what are the days where you spend 500 Naira, 1,000 Naira per day, you know, and expecting sales to pour in. These days, Facebook is, is, is a business. It's a business. So it is the higher bidders. It's a bidding. The higher you spend, the higher your chances of convert, of getting more sales. No, all those time that you spend 500 Naira or 1K per day expecting to blow up sales, it doesn't work that way anymore. It doesn't just work like that. You have to spend money on ads. You must start seeing adverts as an investment, not an expense. Because truly, the money you invest in ads, if you do your ads correctly, you are going to get the money back. So it's an investment, right? If you don't get the sale, you get the data. It is an investment. Always invest. Pay, pay some, not 500, not 1,000. It doesn't work that way anymore. You need to spend some money, at least 3K a day. You need to start spending some money, right? So that is another thing. That is the second thing that you need to take care of. And the third one is if you use, a, if you use traffic objective, you are using the traffic objective, all right? You need to take note of your optimization. Optimize for ad delivery here. Here, you see this optimize for ad delivery. That is if you're using traffic objective. When you use, when you optimize for link clicks, this one that is here by default, when you optimize for link clicks, it means that Facebook is going to charge you for every click you get on that link that you use in your, in your ad. Right? For every click you get, Facebook is going to charge you because you are using traffic and then you are optimizing for link clicks. But if you don't want that, you can then optimize for landing page views. All right? Just look at the impression. Just look at the stuff here. Facebook says, link click. We will deliver your ads to people most likely to click on them. To click on them. Simple. Now, somebody can click on a link. Probably the network might not be okay. might be shaky at that time person just click off, just log off Facebook and, you know, start doing other things. Facebook will charge you because the person has already clicked on the link. It doesn't matter whether they, they, they saw your offer. It doesn't matter whether they went to your landing page. It doesn't matter whether they got to your WhatsApp. As far as they've clicked on that link, even if they click off and close their Facebook, Facebook is going to charge you, right? But when you optimize for landing page views here, it says we will deliver your ads to people who are most likely to click on your ad link and load the website or instant experience. So in this landing page views, Facebook is going to show your adverts to people who, to, Facebook is, will only charge you when somebody visits your page or loads the website or gets the instant experience. Not when they click on the link. Now, link click is cheaper to run adverts, right? It is cheaper. It is cheaper, but landing page views is more effective it gives you better results because people are going to click on the link and they're going to hold on they're going to be patient and view your landing page probably go through your offer and may likely want to um, book a consultation or book a call with you you know so always pay attention to this and the next thing we need to take care of here is your targeting of course you need to target right select your location if you don't if you have a, a very little budget don't select nigeria as a whole Select, a lo select locations, targets by age, and you should know that. You should know the genders, detailed targeting. Then something I need, to, I need you to pay attention to is your placement. Placement here. By default, by default, 
it is always at automatic placement by default. All right? So if you want to get the best results for your adverts and your low budgets, always put your ad on manual placement here and choose where you want your ad to be displayed. Choose where you want your ad to be displayed. All right? So yes, always choose where you want your ad to be displayed. Put it on manual placement here, and then you come down here. If you want to run your ad on strictly Instagram only, you uncheck everything here and leave it on Instagram. But if you want to run the ad on Instagram and on, uh, on Facebook only, all right, then you uncheck every other thing. Check only Facebook. Uncheck all these parts and leave your adverts to run on Facebook only. Now, once you have checked all these parts, you still come down here, okay, and uncheck every other area. Every other area. Okay. Uncheck all of them. So your advert is going to be displayed. It's going to be shown on the news feed only. It gives your adverts the it it helps your ad budget to be well utilized. Your advert your ad budget will be well utilized. Your advert is on the news feed, so that you can get the best results. You can your ad is going to be shown to people multiple times, and they are, they are likely to get the best results. Okay, so always come down. Always come here to place to to the manual placement. And uncheck anywhere you don't want your ad to be displayed. Okay? That is the fourth, I think the fourth one, right? So the next one is your creative and your offer. Most times when people get poor sales and poor results from adverts, it's usually because of their offer. Their offer is weak. You have a very weak offer. The, be the better your offer, the more chances of converting people. All right? And then you have to make your creative a really, a really good creative something catchy attractive use nice thumbnails use nice thumbnails use this is where you this is where all of this is done right at the ad level use a very nice picture or video use good thumbnails make your creative nice and have a good offer right if you have an irresistible offer people are going to buy from you right so these are the five things i need you to start paying attention to okay Use the right campaign, not the wrong campaign objective. Increase your daily ad spend. All those 500 Naira and 1,000 Naira does not work anymore. It does not work. As, it's not as effective as it used to be anymore. All right? Then the wrong ad placement can, can damage the results of your ad. The wrong ad placement. Always place your ad on the news feed if you are, if you are running on a budget. Okay? And then when you are... When you are using the traffic objective, it is better to optimize for page views, for landing page views. It is more expensive, but it's more effective from my experience, all right? And then make sure that your creative and your offer is super, super tight. The better your offer, the more you are going to convert visitors into paying customers or prospects into customers. So before you, before you run your next ad, your next advert, before you set up your next advert, the first step to take is to create your offer. First, have a very good offer, right? Don't just sell an item. Sell the experience, sell the feeling. You can add more bonuses to make people want to buy it faster, okay? So once your offer is super legit, every other thing should fall in place. And I assure you, you're going to start making more sales and you're going to start getting better results for your advert. Can, please give this video a thumbs up and thank you for watching this video. I hope you've learned something and I hope that you implement it and also get better results. Thank you for watching, guys. Leave your comments. If you have any comments, if you have any question, I'll be in the comment section to answer your questions. And then please share this video to as many people, business owners, people who are going to find it helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.